What's up guys and welcome back to Stranded Deep. Today we are going to start off the episode with just a moment of peace. Listen to the music, listen to our water still dripping, the waves lapping up against the sand and we are going to enjoy this beautiful sunset. It's a beautiful day out here. It's um, 6 a.m. on day 12 after our plane crash. And uh, man, this is actually really, really beautiful. Look at the, the glare off of the water and everything. You can see the, the sky changing colors and stuff. It is yet another beautiful day down here in the tropics. And we have a plan. So uh, you guys know last episode, wha-bam, check it out. We made a new raft here, which I am absolutely in love with. I can't wait to sail on this bad boy. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. And today is gonna be our maiden voyage. We're gonna take her out. We're gonna go to a new island. I'm honestly, I'm tempted. So we might go back to Primo over here just because he's got the, the stuff that we can mine with a pickaxe. We may go over here though. I mean, this looks like, th this easterly island looks like it's gonna be pretty close. And it might have maybe a shipping container or a wreck on the left side right there. So we may have to go check that out as well, see what happens. So let's get ready for that. So how are we looking? Oh, did I just, I just saw a young, a young palm. Can't even carry that right now. Shoot, that's not good. Oh well, we're gonna be fine. So let me check on our, our vitals here. We definitely are gonna need some meat. So give me a second, I'm gonna drop two of these. I did do a little bit of work in the evening to kind of get us ready and prepared for this trip. I knew we were gonna be doing this today. I'm tempted to go over there in the middle of the day. I, I'm worried about sunstroke, but at the same time, I kind of want to see it in the daytime. So we'll we'll see what we end up deciding. But um, what I did is I went in, I emptied all of our crates. So our crates are completely empty now. I'll show you guys the big pile of sticks we have. So we're ready to go and pick up more sticks and more resources and whatever we can find over there. So let me go and attach these two. Oop. Are you, dude, that's like my biggest pet peeve in this game. If you've got uncooked meat in your hand, obviously you don't want to put out the fire. Like, come on, dude. Come on, man. Okay, so we've, we've got that cooking. So yeah, this is our, our big pile of sticks. Absolutely ridiculous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and we are going to craft. What are we going to need? I can tell you right off the bat what I definitely want. Where are the crude, the crude spears? I'm gonna make some crude spears here because uh, we are probably gonna have to deal with some snakes. So there we go, I'm gonna make uh, two there, another one there, and I think we may have one on the ground over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So let's let's just load one of these up with, with good things. So I'm gonna put four spears in here. We're gonna put uh, a fishing spear in there. We're gonna put a knife in there. We're probably gonna wanna make at least two hatchets, at least two axes. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to make like campfires and stuff just with the stuff that's currently on the island. I don't think we, we have to bring like tarps or anything, but um, yeah, definitely, definitely wanna make some, some hatchets. So let's, oh shoot, we don't even, we've got a couple stones. We can make one hatchet. So we're gonna come over here. We should be able to quick craft a stone tool a second stone tool, and then a crude ax. So we can put that down. And then we also, what do we need to be able to make the refined pick? We need two stone tools, two leather, and a wood stick. We can make one one stone tool. Okay, so I'm, I'm just gonna bring the leather then. If we just bring the leather, we should be good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put the, the leather and the ax here. Then we're gonna pick these up. We're gonna leave the fishing spear here because we don't need it. We're gonna pick up our uh, our paddle here because we are definitely gonna need that. And other than that, I think we're good. We can probably drop this spear for now because we gotta go eat. Okay, cool. So yeah, I, I, I think we're good. I guess, hold on a second, I've got an idea. Let's, um. we're gonna have to drop our paddle. I'm gonna get a couple more pieces of meat here just to, to make sure that we're all the way good to go. We don't wanna go on an empty stomach whatsoever. So we're, we're gonna grab both of these and we're gonna, th uh, oop, oop, almost did it again. I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna make sure that our tree is fully, oh, we've got a, a new piece of fruit. So let's go ahead and pick that up. Oh. We've got two pieces of fruit, that's nice. So we're gonna drop that. Let's pick this up, make sure that this thing is fully good to go. We can drop that, we're gonna go back. We're gonna get some water of our own, drink up, and then after we do that and eat the food, I think we should should be just about good to go. We can, oh, oh, that did it. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna extinguish this because we, we, don't, we don't need to cook that yet, we're good. Okay, let's pick up our paddle. We're gonna need our knife. I guess we could put a, an extra little piece of fruit over here. 
in this the storage. So I'm gonna throw our fruit in there. We also have, let me drop a couple of these real quick. We have the rations and the bandage. I'm gonna throw these in here just because you never really know when you're gonna need those. So we'll throw all that in there. Pick these two up. I think we have, we've got our paddle. We need our knife somewhere. Where'd we drop that knife? It was right here. We got it. Okay. Um, so now the question is, do we want to go? Dude, it's 1041 AM. We are going to get blasted by the sun the entire way over there. I don't know that that's the best idea. Dude, it's so clear and it's so close though. I really want to do it, but I almost feel like, I almost feel like we should wake up at like 4 AM and go. Cause then we have the whole day there. We have time to set up our camp and everything. I, I think I'm gonna make the smart play here, the smart executive decision. So that means we are just, I, I guess we're gonna chill here for a little bit. So I'm, I'm gonna open up some inventory space and I'm just gonna go around. I'm gonna do a little fishing, catch some sardines. You know, nothing, nothing too serious. Whoa, okay. I, I don't need any of that, any of that nonsense. Crates flying through the air. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab our, our fishing spear. I'm gonna do some fishing. I'm gonna do some little like cleanup work around here, make sure we, we found all the little fibrous leaves and stuff. I'll see you guys when we're ready. And actually, now that I think about it, we could just take a lot of these sardines that we're catching right here. Is it? I need to cool down. Shoot, dude, that's what I'm saying. We are gonna get blasted out here in a bad way. We just got sunstroke already. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna get out. We're good. We could take a lot of the sardines that we catch here. We could just take them with us. So that way when we get there, we have a stockpile of food. We don't have to worry about stopping to fish. We can just do our thing. So I, I feel like that's, that's even better. We gotta be really careful here, dude. We need to learn to make some aloe. Hold on. Let me see here. How do you make aloe? Aloe salve. Two aloe plants and a coconut flask. I wonder if that's, I mean, obviously aloe helps with sunburn, but I wonder if in this game it would like prevent it. You know what I mean? So you can stay out longer. We need to be able to make some sunscreen, but I don't really want to waste the aloe we currently have yet. I kind of want to farm it. We should set up a new farm. Four sticks and a lashing. All right, I'm down. You got me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna make two of these. We're gonna grab two lashings. Grab two lashings. I mean, we're still out here in the sun, but it's gotta be done. Here we go. Except we gotta keep in mind, this is a lot more watering we're gonna have to do. So we're gonna go in here. We're gonna go to farming, farming plot. Oh, we need our, we need our hoe. So let's make another, another farming plot here. Another farming plot over here. Okay, and then we've got, I think we have, yeah, we've got aloe, a juga. I think I'm gonna do two aloes for now. And then eventually we'll, we'll make everything line up a little bit better. So here we go, I'm gonna bring this over here. We're gonna plant it. We gotta pick this bad boy up and give these guys water. The thing is, is we really have to be careful here. You know what I mean? Like it, it could get ugly. We could, st this is, this is, Three things now taking up water, which is is obviously not ideal. Water is a, a pretty important resource, so we, we can't get too crazy with it. We just drained our entire water supply watering these guys. Granted, they only need it once every couple of days, but that means we really have to stay on top of keeping our water supply handy and we have it for ourselves too, which we're already down seven from sitting out here in the sun. It makes me think, well, we could just get a new water collector, but then it's just gonna take more fibrous leaves the entire time. So we just, we have to be careful. I guess if we have our raft, we can start hitting other islands, getting a ton of leaves all at once and coming back. But we just, we gotta be smart about this. Look at this giant school of sardines, dude. This is what you love to see. I ain't scared of you, son. It's starting to get a little bit lower in the sky. I think, what is it, 10 to two is like the primary time for sun and for UV exposure and stuff like that. So it is currently 348, not bad. It definitely is, it still says very high, but we're not like mega hot right now and we, we don't have sunstroke anymore. So I'm gonna pick up as many of these guys as we can get. Eventually we're gonna have to check our fishing trap, but that's not really a, a primary concern of mine right now I'm just gonna gonna go catch these saucy boys get as much as we can get have a nice stockpile at home and not nice stockpile to be able to put on the rafts Ooh, there's two sharks together right there. Not gonna lie side by side that scared me a little bit But yeah, we're just we're gonna collect these guys and get ready for the big trip tomorrow So I think we normally sleep for nine hours, right? Which means we probably want to go to bed fairly early definitely don't want to get get caught out there. One thing I haven't seen, ah, here you are, beautiful. We definitely want our compass. We gotta start thinking about what we're gonna put where. 
We've got our fruit in there. Probably wanna, gonna wanna keep the, oh, shoot, dude. We just don't, we don't have a lot of space. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna drop this here. We really need to start thinking about what we're gonna be taking. We're gonna eat that. We're gonna take our knife. We can't take that many fish with us. I don't think we need to take the fish with us. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be able to craft whatever we need in, over there. So it was a good thought, but we're gonna leave it. Knife, meat. The thing is, is I really wanna bring the compass. I guess we'll just take one less, one less of these things. One less crate. So yeah, we got fishing, we've got spears, we've got an ax. So I actually, I think I'm gonna go to bed now to give us ample time when we wake up. We're gonna take care of our water priority. We're gonna take care of our food and everything and then really, really kind of get out of here. It is currently 2.31 a.m. Okay, this is good. So we, how hungry are we? We're very hungry. We're gonna wanna, we're gonna wanna skin a couple more of these bad boys. We've already got two, two meat in here. I wanna eat both of those. Let's drop this sardine. We're gonna cook two more pieces of meat. We're gonna drink water. We're gonna pick up our crates and we're gonna GTFO. That's the plan. Seven spins of the stick to be able to do that. Let's go ahead and attach, not to the meat smoker, cause you don't work. We're gonna attach it to the campfire, looks good. So that's gonna bring our meat up pretty solid. We've got some water here. We can put that back under. Our water's not gonna be looking great. I guess we could eat this fruit. We could just eat the fruit, dude. I'm gonna eat the fruit. All right, that helped out big time. Um, these things over here, one slot off, the other two are full. I think they're gonna be able to make it a day without us. All right, I, I think we're, we're good to go. I think there's no time like the present. If we could get one more drink of water or maybe grab, don't we have a coconut over here? Here we go. Let's grab this coconut, drink the coconut and drop it. We don't need it right now. Got another drink of water here. Looks good, add the fiber there. As soon as this stops cooking, we're good to go, man. It's gonna be time to hit the road. Let me check with our compass where we're going. So that is southeast. We're gonna wanna go due northwest to be able to come back. We could actually deposit this in one of these crates. Oh shoot. We gotta, we gotta swap what's in our hand currently. We could deposit this in the crate and then pick that up. So that way we have an extra, extra slot. Cook small meat, cook small meat. Is extinguish the fire. Still got a little bit in our inventory. I'm gonna go ahead, we could put our meat in here and then we can pick these up and I think we're good to go. Oh, we don't even, dude, we don't need the paddle. I don't know what I'm talking about. We really don't even need the paddle. Okay, I'm gonna go save just in case. It makes me nervous, but we gotta do what we gotta do, man. We gotta, we gotta thrive, not just survive. So here we go. We are gonna be heading due southeast. So we're gonna drag our raft out here. Climb up there. Are we on it? We're on it. Okay. Raise the sail. Operate the raft. And here we go. We're off, boys. Off to new adventures. We probably need to add a little bit more width to this raft. It's a, it's a little topsy-turvy. I didn't really think about that. We want to add a bit more length and a bit more width so we don't list so much side to side. Hopefully we don't go down here. It's our maiden voyage. Nobody say anything about the Titanic. We're gonna be fine. Is that a, that's a whole ship. Bro, that's a whole ass ship out there, what? It's got like three stories. What in the world? I don't even think that's a part of the island. I think that's just sunk out in front of it. No way. Okay, that's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Now here's our game plan, guys. We are gonna make land on this island, whatever it's called. We're making way for the island, but what's it called when you when you hit land? We're gonna get on the island, we're gonna ignore the ship for now, even though that thing's really cool. We are going to kill all the snakes possible. We are gonna try to find whatever resources we can, most likely mostly the fibrous leaves and maybe some sticks and stuff. Depending on where we're at there, I only wanna spend one day on this island for the first day, because I, I wanna get back. Our water's looking a little bit low and stuff. Like we definitely want to, to take care of our plants. We don't wanna be gone for too long. So we're only gonna spend one day here. Pretty much as soon as it turns night, we're probably gonna, you know, pack up and leave. So we gotta be careful. And it actually, this looks like a fairly small island, but that's not to say it doesn't have freaking snakes, dude. We got here at the perfect time. I'm, I'm gonna guess it's around 6 a.m. Let's go ahead and unoperate this. Are there any snakes immediately ready to attack. 6.05 a.m., let's go. Okay, so we're gonna bring this thing up on, on lands, and then what we're gonna do is we are gonna drop all these. You can only drop them in stacks of two, otherwise they start going crazy, and then we can drop this one. Okay, so let's see what we have in here. I'm gonna grab my fishing stick and those. 
I'm gonna grab our cooked meat. I'm gonna grab, uh, we don't, we don't really need the compass. I just realized we were putting stuff in our inflatable raft and that's not what we were taking here today. So I'm, I'm gonna drop our compass over here because we definitely don't need that. And we're, we're just gonna go, we're gonna explore this for a minute. We're gonna see if we see any snakes. If we could find some pee pee, that would be the most exciting thing on the planet. Is this pee pee? No. Do you guys see snakes? We definitely need rocks. It would also probably be good for us to get a save point over here. Just in case anything hits the fan. How do you, how do you craft that again? Four palm fronds, a lashing, and a, a wood stick. So we can do that. I'm just starting by collecting these leaves. And being very careful. That's a crab. Crabs are okay. Crabs are actually good. Crabs are a good food source. I'm just honestly scared out of my mind that there's gonna be a snake somewhere. If you want me to be completely honest. Pick all these bad boys up. All right. So far, so good. So far, it looks like mo Oh, they've, they've got hogs. Last time we saw hogs, we saw snakes, though. I want to get this... Uh, I don't want to run after them, though, and run into a snake. You know what I mean? We're going to be very careful. they got a couple of hogs. They've got tarps over here. I used to think the tarps were going to be super clutch, but honestly, I haven't really... This, this brings back freaking flashbacks from Nam, dude. I feel like we haven't really used the... Oh! You son of a... I knew you were going to be here, you little... Little mother... Eat on that! Suck on that! You little... Suck on that! Suck on that, you little... That's right! Uh-huh! Let's go! Okay, where'd that hog go? Dude, I, I get freaking chill. Oh, we dropped our knife, too. Oh, no. We dropped our knife right before we started throwing stuff at the snake. It's fine. We'll be able to make a new knife. It's okay. We can make a new knife. Holy cow. So there are snakes here. That is something that we are definitely gonna have to watch out for. There's a lot of stuff too. This, I mean, this is this is good. I wonder how many snakes. I see another one already. What's up, bro? You posted up? Oh, you coming at me, huh? Oh, you come, you coming, you coming in hot, huh? Trev, you gotta be able to hit him if you're gonna talk crap. Got him! Oh, quick scope. Now, last time there were four snakes on the island. I mean, two snakes on the island. That was it. I'm wondering if that might be it for us. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna come back over here. We gotta be, we gotta be smart with this. We gotta drop stuff off. I'm gonna drop all these. That's gonna be our our lashing or our whatever it's called, fibrous leaves. There. This can be rocks and scrap metal. I don't know that we need these anymore. I'm gonna eat this meat because why not? We just, we gotta be, we gotta be really smart about this. I don't, I don't know that we need these. I don't see any mineable resources, so I'm gonna drop these next to our compass. And then we also definitely don't need the lantern yet. Okay, so let's leave, leave all that stuff there. We're gonna have to make, we need to make a, a, a what's it called? A knife, because we lost our knife. So let's go make another knife. And then hopefully we can take down these piggies, get some of these leaves and stuff, and things are looking good. Found a fruit, let's go. Found a kura fruit or whatever it's called. Uh, makes me kind of sad because now that is not going to respawn back on this island ever again. But if we're already farming that on the other island, we can just always bring it back here if we decide to set up a base here, which I doubt would happen. But at least now we'll have a fruit to be able to, to you know, supply us with whatever we need. We are low on water, which makes me... Oh, it's raining. Shoot. If we could, if we could set up a still real quick, where do we see... We saw those tarps, I think, over here on this side of the island. If we could set up a still, we might be able to catch some water and then we wouldn't have to worry about harvesting it or whatever. Yeah, they were over here. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. Rocks. Tarps. Okay. So we're gonna come in here. We need two more rocks, a lashing, a palm frond, and a coconut flask and the coconut flask is just a lashing and a coconut so we need to make two lashings a coconut one more rock we got this we just need a coconut there's one right here fairly low got him okay so now we're gonna be able to make consumable or we're, we're gonna make a we're gonna make a lashing make another lashing consumables make our coconut flask and then we should be able to make Oh, we need a palm frond. We're gonna knock this thing down and then take the palm fronds. We should be able to make a water still and then we should hopefully be able to catch some of this water before it stops, before the storm stops. This is good. It's gonna give us a little bit of extra time on the island, not to mention we now know that, um, that our crops are gonna be good. They're getting rained on, so that's good. Should we check on... The raft looks good. I was gonna say, if the raft is gone, I'm gonna cry. I, I will absolutely cry. Okay, we got a palm frond. I'm just gonna, should we set up, let's set up on the beach that we landed on closest to, to home. So we're just gonna, we're gonna set up uh, la oh, we left him over on the beach. 
Dang it. We got it. We're good. So I'm gonna come back over here. Let's set up this still. Do it to it, baby. Do it up. Do we have any extras? Ah, uh, I don't want to waste those though. Let's go back. I dropped some of our stuff over here. So I'm gonna get that making water so we have water. I did notice there is this this plant. Oh no. That's nothing interesting. I thought that was gonna be something good, but it's not. Okay. We're solid, dude. We're gonna be fine. Let's grab some more of these palm fronds. Be able to throw those into the water still, make us some water, and we're good. And then we can keep exploring. Dude, it is so spooky out here, man. Oh my goodness. I'm excited to check these things out. I'm a little bit nervous about it, but I'm definitely excited. Uh, we're back here at our third home base, I guess. We need a name for this island, by the way, so please let me know. I mean, we've explored it some so far, I, I guess. We have a lashing over here, I believe. Yeah, okay, so we can craft this. I guess it could be something to, to be named with that ship or something. Uh, that that kind of makes it a little bit unique. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But um, boom, we've got a new shelter. I'm going to go ahead and save. We've got our, our water still here. We've got our campfire if we need it. And uh, looks like the storm is subsiding a little bit here. What time is it? It is currently 1.50 p.m. So, I mean, things things are looking good. We know that our, our stuff back home has been watered now, which is, is really solid. That's honestly my biggest concern. So we can feel free to kind of explore here. I say we stay an extra day, kind of a long this a little bit. I'm gonna pick up some of this out. Oh, shoot. We gotta keep dropping stuff off. I'm gonna, gonna steal all the stuff I can from this island. Take all the resources I can. And then I think we're gonna do some exploring in these ships. And then eventually we're gonna make our uh, pickaxe. And I think we're gonna try to go to Primo, who that's home. Primo should be... I think that's Primo right there. We can go to Primo and we can, um, can take the... the Mineable stuff from Primo, so we'll we'll see what happens, but that's that's kind of the plan for now Also, honestly one of the biggest things we could find out here would be oh We got to get the pigs. I forgot about the pigs shoot. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop some of this for now We need to find the pee pee. I, I almost forgot, but we definitely cannot forget that all right So we're gonna make a, a stone tool there And then we're gonna make a refined knife to make up for the one that we've been a little careless with and then we're gonna chase these boys around We're gonna try to take them out. I will say I don't want to jinx it I have not seen any more snakes since the original two So I'm wondering if every island has two snakes. We'll see try to compare what the uh, the knife does Compared to the spears, it takes two spears to take down a boar, dude. That is that is pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Although I think we lost one of the spears there down into the earth, but that's fine. So took down our second pig here. That's gonna be four new pieces of hide to make four new pieces of leather. Also four pieces of medium meat that we're gonna be able to cook. So we should probably start thinking that every new island we come to, we should just make sure to bring everything we need to be able to make a shelter, make a water still and stuff like that so we really don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna pick up this extra rawhide and whatever else we can get. I know our inventory is getting kind of full. I'm gonna run these. Oh, that's a rock there. We gotta make sure we get all the rocks, dude. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna run back. We're probably gonna need our lantern here sometime soon. We're gonna sleep off the night, wake up, go diving in the morning, and then head over to Primo. Just strolling along my new island at night. This is, uh, this is pretty chill. We've got dead snakes over here. Still don't like those guys. We should probably just go, like, throw them in the water or something. I don't know, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna just leave them where they're at for now. Left a lot of resources on the beach somewhere over here, and I'm, I'm not sure exactly where it was. Oh, it's right here. Okay, we're good. We've got this. We've got that rock I saw earlier. We've got some plants. Things are looking good. I think it's about time to go to bed. Oh, Hello, what's in here? Flare gun, rations, a tarp. Even better, we've got a brand new, a brand new crate. That's good. That's not pee pee. We gotta find the pee pee. We gotta empty our inventory to come back and and get that crate. Oh shoot, dude, this island was. It just had too much. There's more corrugated steel over there. This island was too much. Is this? Ah, oh, let's go, baby. We found the pee pee. Oh, I am never letting you out of my sight, girl. Oh my goodness. My pee pee is hard for pee pee right now, dude. So that's the ingredient we need to be able to make the anti-venom for the snakes or the the It's not called anti-venom. I forget what it's actually called in this game But basically we don't have to worry about snakes anymore Like I've always been terrified of snakes because if they get us we're pretty much dead But now we're gonna be able to farm this thing have an unlimited supply and always have that that antidote on us, baby Okay, that is good news. What time is it? 
Starting to get a little bit late. 8 p.m., I guess it's not that late. Our crates are starting to get kind of full is the problem. You guys can see these things. I guess we have one crate here that's open. I'm gonna put the PP in there. We can't put a crate in a crate, dude. I was gonna say, if you can do that, that'd be, that'd be cheating. We have two open crates left. Ooh, good morning, guys, and welcome to the next day. It is currently 9.08 a.m., and it's time to get in that wow to sun. You guys ready for this? Here we go. So overnight, I did some organizing. We are fully stocked up on all of our items right here. And um, I don't know, we may, depending on what we find out there in the boats and stuff, we may do some reorganizing, but all these things are completely full and we are good to go. Um, we've got some water in here that we're currently good on. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna say, let's let's just get after it. I wanna go check out this big double-decker. This thing looks, looks pretty insane. We've got some poisonous starfish over there. Another poisonous starfish right in front of us. Gonna wanna watch out for him. Three black tip reef sharks that hopefully are kind enough not to try to eat us. Here we go, how do we get in this thing? Oh my God! No poisonous starfish. Oh my god. Okay, that that was a big shark. I don't know what kind of shark that was, but that was a big boy. How are we even supposed to get in this ship, dude? Maybe during the storm? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it, dude. The sea is rising and falling pretty rapidly. That big boy was up close too, dude. Can we get up here? Let me up. I don't think we're gonna be able to get up there, dude. I think that might be one of the things where we might have to get an anchor. We might have to pull our raft up to it and then we can jump on there. That would make sense. Cause I physically cannot get up there. I bet there's some good stuff on there too. Oh my goodness, dude. I just nearly shat myself. Swimming away from that thing and just hoping it wasn't gonna bite us, hoping he wasn't hungry was one of the most terrifying moments of my life. Look at all the islands out here, dude. There's two more over there. We're gonna have to draw ourselves a little map. We are 100% gonna have to draw ourselves a map. Looks like we might have a wreck over here. I don't even know if I wanna rest, mess with wrecks anymore. This is the only other wreck on the island. We're gonna go for it. Now you got me all scared. We've got tires. I don't know how to collect these. We might need our knife. We can grab this thing. I don't even know what's in it yet. Okay. You really wouldn't want to be swimming out in this if this was this bad, dude. You'd be getting whisked out to sea so quick. I just saw that snake again and it, it scared me again. I'm I'm still just, I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna shut up. I'm, I'm still terrified from what I just saw. I was not ready for that. I was not ready at all. I'm gonna throw that on the fire. Let's see what we have. Oh, we got an air tank. Useful for deeper dives and you can use this to make a harpoon gun. Okay, so that's, that's definitely making it in our thing. We found a, a permanent lantern as well, which I feel like is gonna be pretty good. Now, what is not making it back home? I guess we have an open thing here. The air tank is definitely making it back home. Three spears, I don't know that we really need that bad. I'm gonna take the knife out for now to see if we can see if we can grab the, um, the what's it called? Wait, where? Oh, the, we're holding the lantern, I was gonna say. I don't wanna hold this lantern. Let's put the lantern in here. Having an extra lantern is going to be really, really helpful, especially when we set up like a second home base. We've got a flare gun here. I feel like these are fairly rare. The t Dude, the thing is, is everything is kind of a little bit rare when you think about it. We might have enough inventory space as is. We'll see what happens. We're going to leave that there for now. I'm going to go back. I'm going to see the tires I feel like are going to be really good. I'm saving, by the way, just in case we end up getting eaten. I feel like the tires we saw at one other spot, and I'm pretty sure you can make rafts out of tires, so I'm gonna see if we can go cut these loose. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing here, but I'm gonna hope for the best. Dude, look at these seas, man. Oh, okay. So it looks like, interesting. It looks like you, you hit them a bunch, and then you you can't actually put them in your inventory. You have to drag them out one by one. So I'm just gonna drag these bad boys up on the beach. If we ever need them, we know they're here. We could have just found a name for the island. This could be Tire Island. What do you guys think? Either that or frickin' Megalodon Shark Treb charts his pants. We're gonna leave these here for now. We might be able to come back and transport them later, but we'll know they're here. Good stuff. So I think, I think we're good. I, I think that, I, I don't think we're gonna be able to get it back up on that boat yet. I think we're gonna have to come back 
Um, I'm also a little bit too scared to go back there right now. So that's that's fine. I hope you guys understand. Uh, we've got our medium meat here cooking. We're pretty good on water. I'm gonna make sure we're all the way good. We might as well, we have an ax over here somewhere. I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna cut down a palm. I'm gonna live by that uh, the campfire rule or the campground rule where you leave a place nicer than where you found it. So I'm gonna leave us with a fully stocked fridge, fully stocked, you know, water, water still, whatever you wanna call it. So that's, that's gonna be good. Whenever we come back here, we won't be hurting for water. So I think that completes this island. Let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's pick everything up, board up. We're gonna see if we can find Primo Island and we're gonna try to go mine whatever you can mine over there. The meat's done, go ahead and extinguish that. I guess put our knife back. We're gonna wanna pick the refined pickup. I think the aloe, cause we just, we planted two aloe. I don't, I don't think we really care all that much about that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put our ax in here. I mean, we're just gonna have to get rid of this meat. We're not gonna be able to use it. So enjoy it. Oh, nope, I want the cooked meat. Enjoy it fishies while you have it. These things we are gonna put over here. We are gonna put it on our water still. So when we come back, we have water to be able to use. We can drop that. We can drop our aloe vera. And then I, I hope we're gonna be able to pick all this stuff up. Shoot. Well, flare gun, it's been nice knowing you, but we don't have any room. All right, it's time to go. So let's go ahead and save to be safe. What time is it? Three o'clock, we're gonna get sunburned. We're gonna get sunburned bad. So home is there. Primo is there, I think. Let's just go for it. I would not recommend doing this in real life. This is like the, the worst thing to not know exactly where you're going because it's so easy to get lost. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's home. So this has to, this has to be Primo. Were his last words. This is so nice, dude. This is so chill. I hope we're going to the right place. The biggest thing about like traveling across open oceans is it's so easy to get turned around. That's Primo for sure. You can see the red shipping container and then you can also see the, the big spire in the middle that's starting to show up. Uh, but yeah, this is so much better than sitting here and W keying and just like holding the button down and like paddling and then you paddle sideways on accident. So you gotta paddle the other way. This you just, I, I can just chill. Like this, this is, this is nice. This was a good addition. Uh, we need to look into to see what we can do to improve it. I definitely want to make it wider and longer. There's probably going to be some way that you can carry uh, the the little boxes with you, the inventory boxes, so we can like keep some on the raft and then keep others on our person, so we have even more inventory space. I feel like that's the biggest battle of this game is the inventory space. So I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, we're making our way here. We're going to mine that thing real quick. We're going to have to figure out what we're going to leave in its place because we're not going to be able to carry whatever we get from that because we don't have any inventory space right now, but that's okay. This is just so nice. We've got the, the Bermuda Triangle of Islands right now, dude. We can go to any one of these three and we're good. We can save. We've got water. We can cook food. Really start to branch out of our home base. Things have things have been heating up for sure. So that's home over there. That's where we just came from. That's kind of cool that you could, because we can obviously see the ship now. So like we, we kind of, we're starting to get some landmarks. I want to land on the home side of, of Primo so that at night, when it's a little bit harder to see, we can just know to immediately just like turn around, go straight and you're good to go. So we're just gonna, we're gonna pull in here, right here on the beach where we first, first pulled in not too long ago. This is Primo, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Go ahead and lower the sails. Undo that, pull this boy up here. All right, so um, I'm gonna drop all of these so we can see what we're working with. We've got all of them right there. And then we're gonna take our ax and we're gonna come over here. How are we looking on water and everything? Oh, we're good, dude. I'm a little bit worried about our plants at home, but it did rain, so we should be fine. Where was, that's right here. Mineable resource. Minecraft, baby, here we go. Ooh. Oh, it's, really? It's just rocks. We came all the way over here for rocks. Honestly, rocks are really good though. So, I mean, I, I was hoping for something a little bit better, but I, I will take rocks all day. Oh my God, I'm just, I, that's, that's funny. That's really funny. I'm gonna grab our lantern here. And then we also, we need our knife. We'll grab our knife as well. Uh, we actually have one full, one full, what's it called? Uh, crate that we did not use. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up any of these other rocks that we missed. It was only good for like four rocks, dude. That is painful. 
But one good thing is you guys can see a lot of these yucca trees and uh, little palms have shown back up. So we're gonna max out on these and then we're gonna go home and call it a day. This is exciting, dude. We visited two islands. We've got a new wrap that we used. We found some tires that we're eventually gonna have to go back and maybe make a wrap out of tires. I feel like we, we definitely made some headway here. I'm packing it up. It's time to go. Let's get out of here, fellas. Let's go home. It's been a long day away. We've got some plants to feed. We've got ourselves to feed. It's been a good day, but uh, all good days must come to an end. Here we go. Raise the sails. Oh my God. Get me back on this thing. Whoo. Okay. Let's be careful that doesn't happen again. That could have been absolutely horrific. I had a vision of our, our boat just instantly flying away without us. Got to make sure we're quick to get on that, that rudder. All right. So we're going to go home. We're going to water our plants. We're going to plant some peepees. We're going to organize our stuff. It's not going to be all that exciting. So I feel like this is a good spot to end this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. We definitely want to improve on our raft and work on a storage, you know, solution to our issues. We want to go out and explore more islands. We want to definitely make an anchor. So maybe we can go get the, the two-story boat over on the island that we haven't named yet that you guys are going to name down in the comments. What else do we want to do? Maybe end up building a house? I don't know. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.